to you guys um 5 26 in the morning we're not 5 27 but when i first get up the first thing i do is i make my bed so that is what i'm about to do right now because it helps me get up in the morning i also drink a cup of water too so i'm probably about to do that so let's go i think i'm gonna play some music to wake myself up this morning i love this song My bed is made and that's a great start to the day. So now that I made my bed, I'm actually gonna get dressed for the day. Yeah, let's go to the bathroom though. Alright y'all, so I'm about to floss now. Real quick, I'm gonna floss. I'm actually going to go on YouTube right now and um, let's see. I'm going to put on one of the sermons that I was watching by Pastor Michael Todd because I'm about to get in the shower and I like those things to like play in the background. So I was watching you see where it says part three of Beyond. It's called Capacity uh, Challenge. So yeah, I'm going to listen to that, floss my teeth and shower and then I'm going to be getting dressed and I'll talk to y'all soon. It's 545 right now. in the morning Wednesday morning so it took me about what like a total of 45 minutes to get everything together for me to get ready which is pretty good because it normally takes me an hour so that's why I normally get up at 5 a.m. but today I got up a little later about 5 almost 5 30 so um, it's okay I'm still blessed to be up God woke me up today I'm so thankful for that but I'm about to actually um, Bible journal so the first thing I normally do in the morning is I'll write down everything on my heart anything that I'm thinking about or that's really bothering me or that I even want to pray about I'll write it down before I go into my prayer session yeah and then I'll start reading the word and write down some scriptures that stick out to me but I'm gonna get there and right now I'm actually doing a devotional so I'm gonna show you guys this so I'm doing a devotional called um love renovation here's an example of one um and it gives you the devotional and then it gives you what book to read that day so yesterday i did john 14 i really was thankful to read that and get reminded of jesus' sacrifice and what it meant to us so i found this devotional actually when i was just on the app and i was just looking for something to um i guess like challenge me in a love way because this year i want to be more about action and not just you know say oh yeah i love you i love you but don't show it you know because sometimes people we get caught up in that so that's why i started reading that devotional and it's really been helping i'm super thankful for it um if you guys want to try a devotional download the bible app you'll see this little icon yeah you'll see that little icon on the app store but yeah so i'm gonna do that and i'll let you guys sit here and just watch me and then i'll be praying and continue with my morning guys so i just finished reading for the day and my devotional was up here um but yeah so today i had a really good session i don't really time how long i do i just do it however long i feel led to because say if this goes two hours one day or even if it just goes 15 minutes or 30 minutes one day that's fine because i just let the holy spirit lead me and you know if i'm feeling led to read two chapters of a book i'm going to read two chapters but today since i'm just on my devotional i just do that and i'm actually about to pray um i know you guys saw me pray to come in but i always pray before i read the word just for god to open up my mind and allow me to really receive it is that receive what it is that he asked me excuse me and um 
by the way i just want to put this as a disclaimer this stuff is not necessary for you to be considered a christian you know you don't have to read in the morning i don't want to buy getting confused like oh you have to wake up early and read your bible to be a christian no you don't this is just stuff that i do to grow my personal relationship with god and i, I choose to get up early so i can get more done as you guys will see i'm also going to do other stuff this morning too so it's not just reading my word but this is the most crucial part of my morning it's my favorite part of my morning it's so relaxed right now i'm not distracted by anything everybody still sleep because it's not even 7 a.m yet um, i probably shouldn't be talking so long because my roommates are actually sleeping <laughs> but yeah so today i just reflect on all the verses i read as you guys saw um i read luke 10 the other day and i did verse 27 which was really inspirational um basically just reminding us to like love others we'll first love god with all our heart all our mind all our soul and love others as we love ourselves and that verse is really convicts me because it's just like wow like when you love god with your all you obey him you do what he says you you know you you love on him basically because he loves on us so and then when you uh, love people just like you love yourself that means you show them the utmost love and respect because you will want only nothing less than it for yourself so i really love that verse um but yeah so i'm going to take this jacket off because i'm kind of getting a little cold and i'm going to go in my prayer um i have a tip for you guys for the prayer sessions because i know when i first started praying i wasn't praying for long time periods i was only praying for like maybe like a minute two minutes three maybe on a good day um but lately i've been trying to pray for a minimum of five minutes so what i'll do is i'll go into my songs list and this is pretty much all of my um my worship songs playlist kind of i think i'm gonna play this song speechless i'm not gonna play it because i don't want to get copyrighted but the song is called speechless by anita wilson this is legit one of my favorite like christian worship songs of all time so if you guys have never heard it check it out but i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna pray and i'll talk to you now that i'm done my time with god and my time with him goes throughout the day but this is really my intentional morning routine where i'm making sure i spend time with him and get to know him more and really listen to what he's telling me because you know that's why i don't i'm not like i sped those times up because you guys don't have to listen to what i pray about or what god tells me and stuff like that that's my personal relationship with him but yeah so now i'm actually about to commence to starting some homework um because i actually need to finish something yesterday and even just start some today so dim right now but um I, I expect it to come up with more within the next half hour it's about 7 16 in the morning right now yes yeah, so i'm gonna finish my homework and then get some breakfast and i'll catch up with y'all later hey guys so i just got done doing my homework um well i'm not done but i'm done for the morning because it's almost um, time for me to go i think it'll be out by about 8 30 8 25 ish so it's 8 it's 8 05 in the morning right now and i'm about to just make me some breakfast real quick before i go because i have about 20 minutes to just sit relax eat before i have to be out the door and stuff like that so that's what i'm gonna go do right now my roommates are still sleeping so i'm gonna try not to be so loud when i'm in there but yeah so let's do that and i'm gonna take this scarf off my head now because i've had it on literally since like six something this morning so almost two hours so Oh yes, look at that. Yes, honey. But yeah, let me go make this food. It is now 8:31, and i'm about to be on my way to class now because my class starts at 9 i was supposed to be out by 9 20 but i had a little bit of a situation my oatmeal literally exploded in the microwave that never happens so yeah i got a little bit behind 47 degrees today so it's really cold that's why i got this jacket on in these boots that i wore a lot when i was home but yeah so that is going to conclude the end of my morning routine i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will talk to you a little later Stay